Welcome to Facts for Real Videos. Everything seems bigger in Texas, and the state's most recent megaprojects are a prime example of this. Tens of thousands of people depend on the old hover bridge every day, so there is pressure to fix the new one before it's too late. The new harbor bridge, which will span Corpus Christi's ship canal for 506 meters, will be one of the largest cable state bridges in America and replace the aging structure that is currently there. However, halfway through the project, investigators halted construction after discovering a number of safety concerns that, if left untreated, could cause the bridge to collapse. Now, the project is over budget and well past the original 2020 deadline, and officials are scrambling to engineer a solution. For more than a century, Corpus Christi, Texas, home to one of the biggest ports in the United States, has played a crucial role as a gateway to the nation. It was designed to change with the times, accommodating the quickly expanding oil and gas industries. After World War II, the port had to construct a larger bridge to allow ships to pass through, posing one of the state's largest construction challenges to date, the original Harbor Bridge. Built without the use of contemporary computers, the bridge's enormous through-the-art structure made it possible for mega-tankers to approach the port for the first time, sparking even more economic expansion, when it opened in 1959. Although it was only intended to last 50 years, it continued to serve Texas for more than 50 years. However, as the years passed, the structure's size decreased in comparison to other port's bridges, and the state is currently constructing a new bridge to accommodate larger ships, comply with modern safety regulations, and require less maintenance. The old bridge will be destroyed, but more than 10 kilometers of new roads and bridges are also being planned and created. In contrast to a suspension bridge, which has cables extending between the towers to support six lanes of traffic as well as a shared bike and pedestrian path, the new harbor bridge's design will use cables to support the road deck, which will be supported by cables that are directly connected to pylons or towers. The deck will be 62 meters above the water's surface, which is high enough to accommodate the massive new ships that are coming in. Construction on the bridge began in 2016 and is expected to be completed by 2020. However, as of 2023, the edifice is only partially constructed, thus what transpires is ideal for Frank first of all, there have been two suspensions of work on the bridge. The first occurred in 2019 in the wake of a pedestrian bridge collapse in Florida that shocked everyone and left numerous people dead or injured. One may wonder how a bridge in Florida and this one in Texas are related. Well, the collapse in Texas was caused by a mistake in the Fig Bridge Group's original design. The same engineers who worked on the New Harbor Bridge later investigated the Texas bridge designs and removed Fig from the project, replacing it with new firms. Construction on the Texas Bridge was then resumed in 2021. However, soon after the bridge started to take shape, a third-party independent study discovered that there were still five major safety issues that could cause it to collapse. As a result, work on the main span was put on hold once more in 2022, and the project's budget increased from about $800 million to almost a billion dollars. Problems with the Harbor Bridge are not unique at this point. Everywhere they go, developers are dealing with increased risk. The ultra-wealthy are altering their approach and looking for other safe haven investments because Allstate and State Farm have stopped insuring properties in California. Some experts believe that commercial real estate is the next shoe to drop, sending shockwaves through the economy and possibly affecting real estate investors as well. Subscribers to Genuine Videos are using a similar tactic with today's video sponsor, Masterworks, in addition to real estate, such as collectibles and artwork. However, viewers of Facts for Real Videos can bypass the waiting list by adding the link in the description. Alright, let's return to that massive bridge. Exactly what went wrong and how it's being fixed are described here. The first problem is with the foundation system. To transfer the weight of the bridge above to solid ground, a network of 64-meter-long drilled shafts filled with concrete and steel sit beneath the north and south towers of the bridge. This slab of concrete is the size of two basketball courts. The team is extending the foundations and adding more drilled shafts below each tower to address this, enabling them to hold more weights without sinking. However, the investigation revealed that under some circumstances, such as strong winds, 
the shafts might not support the weight of the pylons and could sink into the ground. The second problem relates to the foundation caps of each tower, which are positioned atop a collection of piles to evenly distribute the weight to all the components below. Imagine it as a clutch of straws that you grip tightly together. According to the research, the pile's loading capacity was significantly surpassed by the strain placed on them, which eventually might have caused the bridge to collapse to prevent the piles from bending and slipping out of place above the concrete, extra space must be created below. To do this, the piles will be pushed deeper below, where they will be supported by the freshly drilled shafts from the initial solution. The delta frame design, a crucial component of a cable state bridge, is the source of the third issue. Like a ship's mast, it bears and transfers the weight of the structure onto the cables, so the building code requires this product to use non-compressed steel throughout the delta frame in order to strengthen it. However, the study discovered that the heart bridge design lacked the essential reinforcements, increasing the likelihood of the structure splitting and weakening the connections. The concrete surfaces are being roughed by engineers, and crosswise rebar is being added. The user interface the fourth issue was uplift, which was happening at two of the piers. With the bridge's current design, this meant that the structure was rising rather than the weight falling into the cables close to the towers. This movement cannot be controlled by the bearings. Uplift could eventually lead the connections to loosen and result in other mason problems. In order to prevent decompression, engineers modified some of these external bearings and added rebar to the final two segments on both ends of the bridge. The location of the cranes during the main span's construction exposed them to strong winds, which could have caused portions of the unfinished bridge deck to twist. As a result, workers installed counterweights to offset any potential weather movement. In April 2023, however, another issue arose when one of these cranes caught fire injuring two workers as debris fell below. The cause of the flames is presently being investigated, and we contacted the companies involved. However, they declined to comment, pointing out that while repairs for the new harbor bridge are only being started, the original structure is still becoming older. Construction projects like this one require quick thinking and accuracy. The race to restore the Texas Harbor Bridge serves as a stark lesson of trust. Please be sure to subscribe to Facts for Real videos if you like this one and would like to see more from the construction industry's premier video channel.